Hi guys and welcome to my 150 Malkun map project. Is it worth? Let's find out. We will start with pros and cons. As you can already see farming this map is very profitable. Very big plus of farming Malkun is that you can farm it with any build that can clear red tier map. Do you guys grab your head and get sweat when you hear 100% delirious, blighted maps? 100x blade vortex build, selling harvest crafts on some discord? Then this farming guide is just for you. Let's start video with boring stuff. Here is excel document showing all currency I've dropped. I didn't pick up transmutation orbs and augment orbs because there would be like four thousands of them and I respect my wrist, haha. <laughs> okay, to the point. As you can see I have run 150 Malkun, I've bought 70 maps for 3 chaos from 1 seller and 70 for 4 chaos from 2nd seller. 10 maps were mine. All Malkun maps were tier 14 because it gives you chance to have nice map drops from boss. One map takes about 4 minutes to run so you can run 15 maps per hour. As you can see the profit per map is 18 chaos so in hour you earn 275 chaos profit. Notice that I didn't count map and notable drops to profit, with those items profit would be much bigger. Now the video from the last Malkun map, number 150. It is also showcase how to farm Malkun map most efficiently, in my opinion. At the beginning just run near the edge of the map. When I'm ready, and not before. When you see an X sign on the map then move to it. Click on NPC and keep walking in the area that you already discovered so you don't get lost. Kill all enemies you encounter. When the chest appears, open it, take loot and move on. Fun fact. The more damage you do to unkillable boss the more loot he will drop. But in my opinion it takes too much time and is not efficient.
ready and not before. Here is my stash tab with all the loot from 150 maps. You can also see that I've dropped a lot of T14 maps, Shore especially. Thank you for watching. Now some loot clips because everyone like Exalt drop sound haha.